Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in for today's video. My name is Lina. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a slow paced makeup demo. I did promise you a look demo when I was reviewing the Chanel 2022 uh, Spring Summer Collection, La Posa Collection. Remember that collection? <laughs> but I didn't get a chance to do a look demo right away because there were so many new releases to cover and uh, in between my work schedule I didn't get a proper chance to do it. So today I just wanted to show you how I usually wear that in my daily makeup routine and just slowly uh, talk through what I'm doing, why I chose a certain product over others, things like that. I usually try to speed through my makeup demo um, partially because I don't think I'm a great technician or a makeup artist or anything like that. I don't know how much I'm adding to uh, the content and usually makeup demo takes more than 10 minutes and then I always wonder myself, uh, is it worth uh, other people's 10 minutes? So that's why I usually speed through things and then fast forward and things like that. But today I really just wanted to kind of chit chat and then like talk through the process and get ready with you. And do let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I love reading your comments. I like love replying to your comments as well. It's all about communication. So that's the video for today. Today, I hope you enjoy. So let me start with the concealer. Today I want to use number one De Chanel foundation which is a beautiful natural looking foundation. I love how natural it looks, how comfortable it feels on me but it doesn't cover any of my hyperpigmentations. So I'm gonna use my oldie but goodie Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer. It's the second shade and this has a yellow and peach uh, concealer in the compact like this. So I'm gonna uh, try and spot conceal. But I have to say concealer and bronzer, things like that, they're quite new in my makeup game. I only started using them like about five years ago, I think. Okay, I think that's enough concealer for now. And because I used my concealer first, I am going to apply my foundation using a damp beauty blender type of sponge. So this is the foundation that I'm gonna wear. I think I'm going to use about one and a half pumps. it all over my face. This is very affordable. I will link it down below in the description box. I was amazed how affordable it is yet as good as Beauty Blender if not better. Alright, I'm going to set my foundation using a loose powder. This is Chanel loose powder in the shade 10. This is like a translucent shade. It looks like white in the top, but it's a translucent. It doesn't really give um, coverage or color. It just mattifies and sets the foundation very nicely. It can be very mattifying, but the brush that I'm using, it layers the powder really lightly so it doesn't feel too dry if I use this brush. And this is a bronzer that came out a couple years ago. It's actually a bronzer and a highlighter duo and it's limited edition. It's not available anymore but I really like this and I have this low-key goal to use this up this year so I've been reaching for this quite often and I like uh, using that half moon brush included inside. So I'm just gonna lightly apply this mixture of highlighter and bronzer together. And today I'm going to do my brows first. This is Zoeva Graphic Brows in the shade Bister. And this is very cool toned dark brown. I 
And I'd like to add some brown mascara. In this case, this is actually a mascara. This is Chanel Le Volume de Chanel Mascara Waterproof One. I basically hate this mascara, but I find this working very nicely as brown mascara. So it will serve its purpose, but of course I won't be repurchasing this again. But um, this works nicely as a brown mascara. Glad I didn't throw this away. Okay, I am ready for my eye makeup. So this eyeshadow quad is really easy to wear and I think it's meant for really subtle, shimmery, glimmery, everyday kind of eye look. But I myself prefer a smokier look and the easiest way to achieve a smoky eye makeup with any kind of eyeshadow is adding a deep cream base on my lid and a blended with powder eyeshadow on top of it. So I am going to use my Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Heather Steel. And I'm going to apply this color on my lid space. And in this case, I am going to line my lower lash line first. And this is Chanel Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Espresso. It goes nicely with the cream shadow color. Using a small dense synthetic brush, I am just going to blend out the harsh edges a little bit and go from there. And I'm going to go into this peach nude shimmery shade here, really pack on this shade and I'm gonna basically layer this beautiful color on top of the cream shadow that I just applied starting in the inner corners of my eyes so I am working one third of my eye here and I'm gonna use uh, the other side of the brush and go into this cooler taupey neutral here and apply that over here close to my crease I want to add some more depth so I am going to use this small eyeshadow brush and go into this darkest khaki brown shimmer and pack that on on the outer corners And I'm going to run that color along the lower lash lines as well so that it sets the eyeliner but also adds a little bit of dimension to it. And go into that really shimmery light ivory color and add a shimmer on top of it. Concentrated color on the inner corners like this. I'm also going to use the sponge tip and go into that same color and then add that shimmer right over here in the center. And for the upper lashes, I'm going to use the Chanel Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Ebon. This is like a soft black color. Just 
Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. I'm using Shiseido Eyelash Curler and of course Essence Lash Princess Waterproof Mascara. So that's the eye makeup, so I'm going to dust a little bit of powder and get rid of whatever the fallouts there may be. And I am going to apply the blush from Rizzi and I am using the Half Moon brush that is included. It works surprisingly well with this formulation. You can see how subtle it can be. It gives me beautiful sheen and enough color, but not too much. I think this color goes very well with muted red lips or burgundy lips. And now I'm going to apply my lip color. Today I am going to apply this color. This is the new Chanel Rouge Coco Balm number 924 Fall For Me. And I briefly showed you this color in my review video. And this is beautiful muted uh, deep red with a hint of brown. This is a beautiful, sophisticated color with great formulation. I actually prefer this new balm formula over Rouge Coco Flash. Rouge Coco Flash never really settles down and it kind of moves around on my lips and I don't find it too pleasant. But this one is more understated and it's less shiny and it feels really comfortable but you can still see very subtle shine or sheen on your lips. This is nice formulation and I hope uh, Shona makes more beautiful colors in this formulation as well. So this is the finished look and I hope you enjoy this makeup demo and do let me know if you like to see more of this makeup demo or get ready with me type of content. I would love to share uh, more of these because I do have many different makeup items. Not necessarily uh, the new things but I have some beautiful collections that I'd like to show you in the future. So um, thank you very much for watching this video and staying with me as always. I really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you can. I would love to see you guys in my next video. Bye!